Hey YouTubers, it's Chris from Gravy. So today's video will cover Google Shopping bidding and how to bid to beat your competitors and not spend a lot of money. Now, this is a bit of an advanced technique and um, I think it's still worth knowing that it's out there. And if you really want to take your ad spend to the next level and decrease your average cost per click um, by product, this is the way to go. Um, this is really what the pros use and it is highly effective in terms of reducing your cost per sale and uh, again, optimizing your cost per click for a given set of products or a product. So, here are the steps. Um, again, this is, uh, it's not for everybody, but, um, and it requires a lot of work and setup in Google Shopping. In an ideal world, in your shop, you probably only have two or three star products at any one time. And in an ideal world, you should then have two or three campaigns set up, one for each product. Now, as you know, probably by now using Google Shopping, they basically determine what keywords are gonna be used to show your ads. And you must use negative keywords to reduce the, the group of words that get through to your ads, or else you're gonna waste a ton of money. So, and I've covered that before, but the, the use of negative keywords is, is quite straightforward and it's at least where you should start. If nothing, if you do nothing else, and this is too much for you, just use negative keywords and I'll review how to do that. So creating campaigns by product, that is really the ideal way to do things. And now again, it's also uh, better than nothing if you create separate ad groups for, uh, or an ad group for a product that you're trying to promote. You can control cost per click levels at the ad group level as well as at the campaign level. The campaign level lets you control budget as well. So ultimately, you want to find a product that's, for example, you know, seasonal. So I'm going to use the example of uh, door covers. Seasonally right now, door covers are really hot and it's, it's one product uh, that's doing well now. So as a result, I've set up a separate campaign for it. Now, you want to look at the settings in your campaign, and this, this is where some of the magic happens. Um, one thing to do is obviously you wanna set a, a budget per day, and you wanna start you know, fairly high, so you don't wanna miss out on clicks, um, but also, you know, if you're if you have a really hot niche, you also don't want to waste money. So it's a it's a trade off. Often they say you know for Facebook ads, five to ten dollars per day for testing. I I I agree. It's maybe ten to twenty dollars is what I do per day for testing. While you're figuring this out, you don't want to put it you know a hundred two hundred dollars a day and blow all your money and uh, and not have it optimized. So start low. I've kind of started. I'm midway through the optimization here. Um, but just look at some of the settings. Um, you want to maximize for clicks, your bidding for clicks, set your budget. Campaign priority. This is something that most people ignore. And this is actually uh, how to take, again, this is an advanced technique and how to take your, your bid into the next level. By setting campaign priorities, literally, uh, it tells Google, okay, start, if this is a high priority, you have three settings, basically. You have high, medium, and low. And it says low is the default if you only have one uh, one shopping campaign. Basically, you want to make sure that um, you set a high, the high campaign priority is on the product that you want the search words to be pointed at first. So, and, and this is where you can narrow down what keywords are going to hit that first campaign at the high level using negative keywords. And so again, negative keywords 
are very important and you find it on the you, when you're in a campaign you click on the keyword column and you're taken to the negative keywords or the search terms and so the search terms are something you should be you should actually when you're testing you should be going in here and looking at search terms every day and looking down the list and finding anything that is not relevant to your uh, campaign now um, for door awnings here well front door i mean i'm not selling front doors i'm selling the awning but it's such a close such a close uh keyword you might still include it however then you have a look at the, the click-through rate it's very low i've only got two clicks it's not enough data um i'm gonna leave that in for now because there's not enough clicks to make a good a good uh estimate but if it remained at a click-through rate of two percent and where the other ones are are higher um you know three to five is sort of a minimum then i would i would definitely click here and add it as a negative keyword so that's again this is sort of basics if you do nothing else set up a campaign for your star product add some negative keywords and they will appear in this column as you add them and um and go from there now um the other thing to mention is you know campaign priorities so if you have multiple campaigns again you will have google start with the high priority then the medium and then the low your highest priority campaign is where you would assign your most um most negative keywords so your filter is maybe focused on only one or two keywords that you know convert highly and then the second campaign is the medium campaign medium um, medium uh, priority you can then assign um, more keywords and that that are more relevant um, and and use the negative keywords as well but you're basically creating a, a keyword filter so you're starting with the most negative keywords on the high priority, um, so that you only you only allow through one or two key uh, terms, and then your you know your filter gets broader as the priority goes down, and you can let other keywords through, um, and and so that's sort of how it works. It takes a bit of experimentation to go from a you know to create this kind of keyword this negative keyword funnel but it is a highly effective technique. Now, again, so that's what the, the priorities are about. So start with the highest priority for a campaign, assign the most negative keywords so that you only have a few highly relevant words getting through. And then as you lower the priority for other campaigns, then you broaden the number of keywords you allow through. But it's not to say that you, you're gonna let through bad keywords, it's just that you can then filter for example you know um if awnings you know door awning is my prime keyword it's exactly what i'm selling so i would filter out everything in this first campaign except for the keyword door awning or even um awning itself awnings plural then the second level campaign which would be a medium priority i would allow um I would allow different words through and maybe it was uh, door cover um, so I would allow door cover through and not have that as a negative keyword but that door cover would be a negative keyword in my first high campaign high priority campaign so I hope I'm not confusing you here but it's um, it's something you almost have to do rather than uh, you know it's hard to hard to show you without just setting them up one by one the other thing to, to realize is um, you should be looking for um, certain metrics to make decisions on um, on your pricing. So one thing is, is, is setting up negative keywords, setting priorities for campaigns, setting budgets for campaigns. The other thing is look at your benchmark CPC. Now, the benchmark cost per click, um, you have to click, you go from your campaign to your ad group, you got to go down to your ad group level to see the benchmark campaign. But over here on the right, 
the benchmark max CPC. This is really important, and you do need a bit of data because you know if you if you've just started, you won't see any value here. But you need, I think, at least a week's data um, and a significant number of clicks, like I have here. This is gold information right here: 46 cents per click for this product group of steel carboards. Um, this basically tells you what your competitors, you know, are generally spending on these sorts of keywords. Now, um, this is a bit of a, you know, bad example in the fact that I haven't set up a separate campaign for steel carports. Um, and I've set up a separate ad group. Um, and you are able to, at the product group level, set custom maximum cost per click. So... For me, this is fine because I've set one budget for this US, USA campaign and I'm managing my cost per click levels at the product group level. This is just another way of doing it. Um, the best way would be, again, to set up separate campaigns with a separate budget and have a maximum cost per click for a single product and a, and a single keyword that's or, or maybe two or three keywords that are set as high priority and uh, in the campaign level. But you can do this any number of ways. But so here's here's a sort of, I do a mix. Um, but back to the benchmark maximum cost per click. This is really important to know. So here I'm, my click share, so about the total clicks, I'm only getting within this group uh, in the last week. Um, and again, I'm doing testing, so I hope to improve this. I'm just testing with low budgets and then scaling up the budgets, but I get 20% of the clicks. Um, my search impression share is, is 37%. So I'm, but I'm losing here. I've lost impression share. I've lost half the impressions. Um, so it's important to note that, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to win all the impressions all the time. You've got lots of competitors changing pricing and so on. However, um, my, you'll notice my average across all products, CPC is 39. I'm below the benchmark of 46. I should probably raise my cost per click level. This is what it's telling me. Um, and I've even got two products here. I've got two kinds of carports, but they're both steel. If I wanted, you know, if I wanted to be really advanced, I would even set up a separate campaign per product and break out these two but they're so similar to me that i've lumped them together um and i'm testing different bidding strategies for each so you have to balance you know do i want to maybe go 10 20 percent over the maximum cpc benchmark rate or you know do i want to be under it if you have a high performing keyword um my suggestion is go you know, 10, 20, 30% over the maximum CPC. Again, remember, this is a maximum cost per click. It's not actually the, um, it's not actually the total, um, uh, it's, it's not like a limit. Um, it's not the actual average cost per click. It's, it's a limit. It's not, it's not, um, yeah, it's not an average. So just bear in mind that when you set budgets, um, if you are wanting to, as I ramp up my budget, I'm hoping to get my click share up to 80% and I want to reduce the lost share of, of impressions to maybe, you know, 10%. Um, so these are, again, these are important considerations when you are trying to competitively bid. So you can, you know, you can set your, your maximum cost per click at the product group level. You can also do it in the settings of your campaign. Um, so uh, as the, there's a default setting for co maximum cost per click. But again, ideally you wanna have separate campaigns um, for each star product that you have. Um, and again, this is again, something important to think about. If your click share is lower than your search share and as I showed you you should be raising your cost per click um, so just think about that when you are when you are setting up campaigns always start with a campaign level but go down to the ad group level 
and then go down to the you know the product group level and you will see that benchmark maximum cost per click um, you can see at the campaign level it's also search search lost um, here's the budget okay so the grizzly usa i'm actually doing great i've only lost like 11 percent i've kind of optimized that one really well and i'm, I'm spending a lot more money on that one um, during my testing phase so i'm doing fairly well with that i've only got two products that i'm promoting and i've got lots of negative keywords um, set up so uh, i'll just give you an example i've got a high default maximum cost per click my benchmark cost per click is 46 cents i'm trying to really own this segment by going way over the cost per click just testing this again it's a maximum it's not my average cost per click um, and my click share is just it's starting to rise as i'm i'm just i need to add budget basically i i maxed out my budget um, but i'm going to try and ramp up my click share and i'm going to uh you know hopefully minimize my lost uh impression share so those are kind of the metrics just stay on top of your bids competitively um set up again go over to the keywords always check your negative keywords I've got lots of negative keywords here, lots. Um, I've only, you know, I only let through a very few highly targeted, and you'll see like the top, you get 80% of your traffic from your top three or four keywords, right? So um, just think about those keywords that are at the top, you're gonna spend most of your money on them. Make sure you, you know, you're, you're paying, you're competitively paying a price that's just above the benchmark CPC and so you can own the category and uh, and then uh, without blowing your budget and then essentially um, your ranking for your search impression share will go up too. So anyway, uh, hopefully hopefully that's not too confusing. Um, again, back to basics, create campaigns and ad groups for each product, at least create ad groups for each product. If you're gonna do a campaign setup, think about assigning priority um low to high um and as so that basically google starts with your you know starts with uh, the high uh priority first and and then it, it uh with the tightest filter on keywords and then it and then it gradually adds keywords as you go through your your campaigns always add tons of negative keywords they're the biggest waste of money you can ever imagine um and look at your benchmark CPC. That's all the way down at the product group level. Um, again, watch your click share versus your search impression share. If your click share is low versus the total sh search share, then you should raise your CPC. Okay, hope that, that helps. Once again, uh, leave any comments um, or any other ideas for new videos. And thanks again for watching.